Question two is an osmosis question. Okay, this is this is transport that we have. So what we've got here is a model cell. So that's basically got a selectively permeable membrane. So this is something that will allow some things through but not others. We've got it hooked up to or kind of stuck into and attached. This will be like a rubber band or something. A really thin tube, the glass tube. And we've got the liquid at the start and then we've got it, it's moved up the tube after 60 minutes. So it's moved up here. So what we've got is some kind of pressure which has managed to move the liquid that was in here up this tube over time. Okay, so for that to happen, there must be more water being pushed in. So now you've got to look at what's happening around about it. Okay, so we've got 10% salt solution inside the bag and water outside the bag. Right, so you can think of this, if it's 10% salt, it's not perfect, but let's do it the other way. So it's 90% water in there. Okay, this is 100% water. Now that means that I have a high water concentration out here and I have a low water concentration inside. So what's going to happen by osmosis, because let's have the definition, osmosis is the movement of water from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration through a selectively permeable membrane. Okay, high water concentration to low water concentration, water goes in. And as the water goes in, it increases the volume and so the liquid goes up. Okay? Right, so we've now got a set of data. We've got every 10 minutes they checked where the liquid had gone to, so it started off at 10 millimetres, and then by the end at 60, it was up to 64. Name the process which caused it to rise. Osmosis, okay. Explain how this process caused it to rise, okay. So what we need to do is to explain, you have the high water concentration outside, low water concentration, obviously you'd write that properly, inside. So water moves in, increases the volume, and pushes up. Oh, pushes up tube. Okay, so your two points here are really explaining this bit, so describing the outside inside, and then basically it moves in. There's your two points, okay? Calculate the average rate of movement of liquid. Right, so we're looking for, you have to look a little bit further down because it tells you it wants it in millimetres per minute, okay? Right, so that's zero, it was at 10 millimetres. And at 60 minutes, it was at 64 millimetres. Right, that means that it changed by 54 millimetres in 60 minutes, okay? What we want is per minute. So all you need to do is to take 54 and divide it by 60, which gives you 0 0.9, okay? Obviously you should have a calculator with you in any biology exam. Okay, when the liquid was, sorry, when the liquid, when the investigation was repeated, the average rate of movement of liquid was slower. Suggest one difference in the way that it was set up that could have caused this. Now it says suggest, so that means there's going to be lots of possible answers. The, I think, kind of obvious one, but um, you have to be careful how you say it, but definitely I would think it's the one you're looking for properly. Right, if we've got a high water concentration and a low water concentration, the difference in that is the gradient, okay? And that gradient, if it's steeper, will be faster. If I make it less of a difference, so if I bring it up to here, then my gradient is now less steep so it will be slower. So one difference might have been basically just changing the salt solution. So instead of it being 90%, 10% salt, which is 90% water, we might have had like a 5%, which is 95% water. And then it's not a big difference between 100 to 95 as opposed to 100 to 90. Okay, so this changing the gradient is, is really worth the mark and it's a good kind of, I know my, my osmosis. But there's physical things that they might have done. For a start, they might not have set it up properly so that this whole cell was inside the water. So if it wasn't submerged like this one is, then that would cause a problem. Okay, This tube, if we're looking at the height it goes to and they're just looking at a level, the thinner the tube is, the higher the level would go because you've got a narrower 
bit of it. If you think of it, a, a tube, let's see this thick, and you put, let's see that's a mill, okay, a milliliter of water. If I have a tube that's this thick, then the milliliter probably only comes up to about here. So if this is not being kept the same, that's an issue. If this is not being kept the same in how you set up the, the model cell in terms of how you submerged it, that's an issue. But it's this bit here that you really want to talk about. Okay?